I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. There he is, Nico Belek. <sighs> Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes. It's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister? That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in bread halfwit? <coughs> <laughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> nah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family. Or I will fuck with yours. All right. We're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Let's do this. All right, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C. 4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Gerald was very clear about the way things is going down, boys. Me and Michael are on the civilians. Derek and Nico are on employees. Derek, did you sort out the charge for the vault door? What's that mean? Of course I sorted out the charge. What do you think I've been doing all day? I don't know. No. Nodding off with a needle sticking out of your arm? Patrick, you were such a sweet little boy when I left this city. You was gone a long time, Derek. From what I remember, you've changed too. This is an emotional moment. I can feel the brotherly love in the air. Maybe we should just talk about the job, though? Sure. So, Derek, you got the charge rigged up to your phone. Had a bit of trouble with that. 
Couldn't find a pager to rig the blasting cap to. Had to put the thing on a timer. All right, all right, we can roll with the timer. That's cool. Nico, when the door blows, I want you and Michael to go down into the vault to get the cash. Grab as much as you can carry. Okay. Don't need to tell me twice, Packy. I'm ready to go. Pumped is what I am. Thanks, Michael. Knew I could count on the dumbest member of the group to throw himself into proceedings the most willingly. I was just saying how I do what you said, Packy. No need to get abusive. There was no need for a brother and sister to get married, but your parents did that, and now you're here. I can think of one reason they needed to get married. They were so ugly that no one else would have them. <laughs> Nothing like a sibling's love, eh, Derek? Nothing like it. Nothing could make me love Francis, though. Fucking Frankie. He'd be pissed if he could see us now. Let's make this clean, boys. No civilian casualties. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart! Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But sir! You too! Okay, okay! Hey, yo! I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? What's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here... Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people, fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! Ooh. Fuck! Oh. We told you not to oh. fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother are watching the kids! Yeah, look, get me in. There's been too many casualties already! Don't make this any more difficult! I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys! out there shit all right boys follow my lead and we might all make it home
boys. dead on the floor of a bank in Algonquin. Well, give them his cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. We got company! Didn't go to fucking plan. Never does, Patrick. The best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. You just gotta hope no one gets killed when they do. Michael didn't get lucky, did he? Fucking have a go hero. What was he thinking? He should have sat tight. He's sitting tight now. Paid for his stupidity. Man, I'm jumpy. You can get dosed all you like when Nico gets us back. You're a good man to have around, Nico. A damn good man. Tell me that when I've got you home. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Heist in Algonquin has police on a citywide manhunt. The daring heist took place at a Bank of Liberty branch in downtown Algonquin earlier. One of the robbers was killed in the raid. He was identified as Michael Keene, a felon from Dukes. A bank customer, computer technician Eugene Reaper, attempted to stop the robbery and was murdered. Authorities are on the lookout for three suspects. In downtown Algonquin, Eric House, Weasel News. Nico, I got a favor to ask you. What is it? Well, You've been spending time with the rest of my family. I figured you may as well complete the set. You remember my brother Derek? Came along on the bank job? Sure. He's in a bad way. 
Last I heard, he was spending his hours in some park, an actor. Go down and check on him. Me and Gerald will cover any expenses incurred. All right, man. I'll go find him. I told you I'm not gonna go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <sighs> hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake. I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey! Hey! Sit down. <laughs> That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. <clears throat> because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> so. What do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean... I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up. But... I tried. I made a mistake! But I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is still threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him. It is pals up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's pals up. Hey, Derek. Apparently, oh, your guy hangs hey, out at the burger me. shot in the Alderney. Go check it out. Let's make sure his boys are there. I went there all today. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! Would rather everyone go down than him take a fall alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done. Nico! Nico, my boy. Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same though, isn't it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, cheese. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. Nigga me, boy. Packy tells me you got some sea legs on you. Meet me at the jetty off of Rand Avenue. I need some help with something. Shit, Derek. You sound almost like a human being. I might just see you there. Nico. People and out at sea. This is the place. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him. 
And Bucky think I talked. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. But what I hear, Aiden still rants about me to anyone who listens. I know how it feels to be betrayed. You got that look about you. What's happening there? I didn't think you had many friends left. This is a Korean guy I did business back in Ireland. He's bringing super notes into the country tonight. Super notes? Counterfeits! They look so good, you wouldn't spot them in a month of Sundays. Over there, we used to buy them off them, exchange them for genuine currency. Nice scam! If you don't hit the same place too often, his boys are pulling the same gig over here. They're cutting you in on this deal. One of the local to escort that boat into the harbor. They make these things in North Korea and have to ship them out here. I've heard it's some government-funded operation. I don't give a shit as long as it keeps me in brown, you know? Anyway, I figured you know a thing or two about smuggling stuff into the country. What's that mean? You're illegal, right? You think us McCreary's was legal when we came here? This is a country founded by immigrants. People who beg, steal, and borrow to get ahead. It's the lifeblood of the place. People forget that. You Park's boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeku? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Another immigrant arriving in this city, trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hands of the Lord now. Seems like a good kid. Reminds me of you, actually. Is that because he's coming into the country to rob the good people of America of their hard-earned money? When you put it like that, he reminds me of a McCreary. Good luck to him! Doesn't look like the arrival of these notes was such a secret. Can you think of why that is? Fuck if I know! Maybe my phone's tapped. Maybe Frankie's been tapping Ma's fucking phone, and he called this in to mess with me. We gotta make sure these notes make it just to piss off Frankie if nothing else. Anyway, or faith, you sound like my mother. I didn't think he even knew I was back. Can't the man just let his brother be? It's like fucking Cain and Abel, the two of us. No wonder I turned into the wreck you see before you. A brother like that, Jesus. So is Francis the only explanation for this shit? If the shoe fits, Nico, if the bloody shoe fits. Sure, I've been telling a few people about this, but hell, I smell a rat, and Frankie's the biggest damn rat I know. Got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Miss McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. Us McCreary's never flew far from the nest. We all stuck close to home. All of us apart from Derek, that is. He left us to visit the old country. Liberty City was never enough for him. He was always a dream. That's probably why he got into smack. Took him to another world. Cocaine is a realist's drug, right? 
Keeps you in the moment? Keeps your head up your own fucking ass. That's about as grounded as you can get. What did Derek want to find in Ireland? I don't know. He loved the stories about the old country, the poetry, the songs, the books. And more than anything, he loved the good ruck, though. He went to Ireland to find it all. An old romantic he was. What's going on, Nico? Usual kind of chaos. Sure, sure. Chaos we all know about. Jerry was the only one who ever tried to live beyond the chaos. What makes him different? I'm not sure, but it didn't do him much good either way. I think it was because of Derek. Why? Because Derek was a grass in England. He was involved in that business and he grassed on some people to avoid doing some serious time. And then went into hiding for years. I did not know that. No, he spun it different, but that was the truth. A grass to avoid doing time. That's why Jerry won't bend. He sees it as penance for the sins of his brother. Crazy fucking idiot. All right, boy? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. <clears throat> Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. The same. The same. It's the same. We're the same, you and me. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it. What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block him that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. All right, I've got the truck. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and dead? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great. They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. I'm in position, Peggy. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Hey, buddy, get this thing out of the road, will you? in the van. Great, we've got some transport. You're not free yet, asshole. Get in that car. Okay, it looks like we've lost him. Take us over to the cliffs in Leftwood. Out you come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air, I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. 
Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get rid of dear old Aiden. Derek fucking set me up in the first place. He's a rat, Derek McCreary. Always has been, always will be. Fucking Derek McFucking Reary. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus. You know Derek's not well? No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch! Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know... The crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh-uh. We, my friend. We. You stop him. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Nico, thank fuck you answered. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes it. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. <laughs> Police officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area. Derek, shit, he's my brother. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? 
Christ, it happened right in front of me. I can feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. It's a bad day for Deputy Police Commissioner Francis McCreary. McCreary's older brother Derek was shot in front of him in Algonquin, and his younger brother Gerald has been arrested in Alderney on racketeering charges. If that wasn't enough, Public Liberty Online, a liberal opinion website, is throwing corruption allegations at him. Eric House, Weasel News. Nico, I don't know if you've heard it, but my brother Derek's dead. No shit. Yeah, I just hope he was smacked out of his brain when it happened, because it wouldn't have suited him to be jonesing when he died. There isn't any good way to go, though, is there? I guess not. Gerald got arrested, too. They got him in the Albany State Correctional Facility. They took Jerry down? Don't worry, he's always being hauled in, but the charges don't stick. Come to Derek's funeral. It'd mean a lot to the family. It's today at the church in Suffolk. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Yeah. I didn't really know Derek that well. I remember looking up to him as a kid. He had a dream back then. He was inspired. The Derek that came back to Liberty City was broken. He probably wanted to die. Yeah. It still has to be hard for you. It's hard for my mom, I'm trying to be there for her. Are you going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, <laughs> none of us are. That is why God put us on Earth and not in Heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man. <laughs> And a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith. And that is what he gave us in his way. Derek gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. Amen. Now if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. You've got a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Will you help me protect my family? What in the hell is this? None these people have any damn respect! Things ain't pretty out here. Stay in the church! Must be some of those Albanian guys Jerry was fucking with. Ain't no more McCreary's heading up in Cassidy today! You fucked up a good thing, Rex! Another fucking combo! Jesus! Another car for Nico, this is a full-on assault! Hold them back, Nico, they're coming to the house! I have him! Come on now, motherfucker! What? There can't be a lot more.
door where they came from, right? I think we got them. Make a run for the cars. All right, man. We're burying Derek in the graveyard in Steinway. Let's get there. I think we finally lost him. If Derek was alive, he'd need a shitload of horse to deal with the stress of this situation. If Derek was alive, he wouldn't be in this situation. That's a valid point, Nico. Who knows what sort of situation we'd be in. Derek needed a good dose of smack to cope with most of the situations that life threw at him, though. You gotta admit that. We all have our ways of coping, Pecky. That was Derek's. He had the hard life. He's having a hard death, too, if this is anything to go by. I never knew it was so difficult to put a body in the ground. That's why I normally tie breeze blocks to him and throw him in the humble. Is that what you suggest we do with your brother? You're a sick man, Nico. I'd fucking slap you if I didn't love you so much. It's only consecrated ground for a brother of mine. All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Derek never had many friends. He sort of lived in his own head. It means a lot, you coming here and helping this messed up family of mine. I did not come for Derek. I came for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, me and Derek had quite a few problems. But he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor fucker. He believed in something once, which is better than me, I guess. Man, fuck, I'll miss him. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. They're all dead. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. You don't know the half. This is the last bit of juice I got on this thing. Trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man. And a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith. And that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. I lost Bucky. He got away. Warn me before you drop a bomb like that. I need to prepare for bad news, you bastard. Shit! Shit! I hope we deal will front me another dime bag. I'll call you, Nico. There's only one thing that's gonna make me forget about this fuck-up. See ya.